You join us today with the shocking news that Mark Hershey has left Team DSM with immediate effect ahead of the 2021 season. It is the cause for an emergency podcast here with the Ascent Cycling Podcast. I'm here alongside Blackwall. We're about to discuss what on earth is going on with Mark Hershey, where he could be going. Uh, I think there's a strong contender, a strong leader with where Hershey could be riding in 2021. But Mark Hershey has left Team DSM. What are your thoughts, Blackwall? I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. First of all, hello. Uh, but what? Did you, what uh, Mark Yashi had a breakthrough season with Sunweb. Sunweb gave him all the opportunities he needed. And he's left. It doesn't make sense. Like, I don't... I, 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 I cannot really um, comprehend like, the move. Uh, you've talked about one contender. Um, I think there's two teams that can get him. Um, it's Ineos and UAE. Uh, I think, I mean, in in each case, it's going to be an upgrade from Sunweb. But I'm extremely confused. And it's very similar to the Tom Dumoulin situation where the leader of Sunweb goes to somewhere else. They can't retain their leaders for some odd reason. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am extremely extremely confused right now. I'm pretty shocked. Looking at Team DSM's website, they've just released a statement saying good luck to Mark Hershey. They're passing ways. Uh, It's a pretty short statement, to be fair, saying they're passing on all the best for the continuation of his career. No uh, kind of indication as to why. They say no further comment will be made or indication as to who he could be going to. Um, Like you say, I think Ineos, for me, are probably the main contenders. I think you say they have a a spot remaining on their roster for the upcoming season. Um, UAE perhaps as well. I mean, yeah, you say Sunweb have lost quite a few leaders. Dumoulin especially. Um, and Hershey, 22 years old. a The star breakthrough really of 2020 um, after winning a stage at the Tour. He finished his season with a top three at the World Championships. Winning the flesh and second at Liège. I mean... What a season he had this year. One of the top talents in cycling. And just like that, 22 years old, Sunweb have lost him. He's gone. Uh, Yeah, it's it's a shock. Um, I I think, I mean, you most likely will will agree with me here. I don't think anyone expected it. Uh, And like... Uh, to to put it into context, we were like we just finished recording something else for, for for the channel in a couple of weeks, and I just saw the tweet from Team DSM appearing on my timeline, and for like three minutes we didn't say a word because we didn't know what to say or how to process the information, and I mean you've you've talked about his palmarès last year and he was the breakthrough rider he was the rider that like had made the most of 2020 as bad as the year as the season was, and Everyone was looking forward to see him battle next season in the new kit of DSM to, to like carry the team on his shoulders as the new leader and also with some decent signings. They had Romain Bardet ma- uh, mainly, but it's it's very odd. And um, I mean, we've talked about Ineos and UE being the two contenders. Um, I think if Ineos gets Marc Hershey, right, let, let's, let's be real. If Ineos gets Marc Hershey, cycling is finished because... They're going to have the most stacked team a team has ever had. They're also looking to buy, to, to get Vlasov for next year. Like, the deal is basically done already. Like, I mean, if, if they do it, then it's just not going to be fun. And if Yui gets him, uh, it it would make more sense, actually. Uh, he would be a great addition to their, to their team alongside someone like Davide Formolo or Diego Ulissi. Or even Tadej Pogacar. But it is a really, really surprising news today. And it's probably why like, my, my thoughts don't really make a lot of sense. Mainly because I'm I'm extremely confused right now. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked. And obviously we'll know more in the next kind of 24 to 48 hours, hopefully. Because I assume Hershey has something lined up that has caused this, perhaps. Um, I can't imagine that a big bust up would would cause an exit like this. Obviously, um, he's one of the top young riders or potentially the top young rider in the world of cycling. So he's going to get snapped up and have plenty of uh, offers on the table for sure. I know uh, Dequinic Quickstep, I think, have a a spot or two available remaining. 
this season. So that's another option uh, for Mark Kershey. And, you know, seeing him rise alongside one of his main rivals and uh, main competitors last season, Julian Alaphilippe, who beat him in Nice um, at the Tour and at the World Championships, of course, as well, would be just absurd. But like you say, uh, for me, if I had to to say who he'd be going to, I, I think it smells a bit like Team Ineos to me. Um, and seeing him ride there would be would be absurd, really, alongside the, the likes of Yates, of course, a, a great puncher in his own right. Um, and, and we know that the strength in that team. He He's not really a, a typical Team Ineos rider, I would say. Um, but alongside Kwiatkowski and, and Yates, they have or they, they would have an absurdly strong kind of Arden Classic squads. I mean, yeah, they would have De Plus and like... I'm, I, yeah, it, it's odd. Uh, I think I'm going to add one team to the mix. Um, it's probably maybe a, a bit of a, um, of a stretch, uh, but I would like to see Group MFDG actually trying to get him uh, because on the Classics, they've got Madwas and Godu, sure, but they're a team with a very strong Swiss influence. Uh, they've got Kung, they've got Reichenbach, um, they, I'm pretty sure they signed Matteo Badilati, so they've got quite a few Swiss. And uh, it, it could be interesting to, to see him um, join that team. But um, yeah, it's, it's weird, it's weird. And usually in, in sports in general, you always have like one or two rumors. Uh, there's like one, one journalist is going to say that he heard from a certain source that something happened between the team and the rider. Or like, for example, Fabio Aru, we've seen... Uh, or we've heard um, that there was uh, tensions between the management and him, but this this is this is a bond that got dropped today without any warnings. I I don't think anyone could have prevented it. Some people are saying, uh, but again, like th- those are information that I'm finding on Twitter, which aren't necessarily the most um, reliable source. We'll say, uh, but. There was talks that uh, some have tried to sell him this summer or to actually find value for him. But yeah, I um, it's hard to know what to believe right now. The only concrete information we have is that Mark Hershey will not be a rider of Team Sunweb or Team DSM for next season. No, and it has to have been happening very recently as well, which also shows why no one could have, could have seen this coming. Uh, we see photos of of Hershey alongside Roman Bardet and other Sunweb riders as well, um, or sorry, DSM riders preparing, you know, for the for the media um, or in the media for the upcoming season. So something must have been been going on in the background. Surely, I can't imagine something has has taken place so quickly um, in the last last days. Um, perhaps this has been going on for a little longer in the background, but. Anyway, this is this is sending shockwaves really through the professional peloton because whoever can pick up Mark Hershey or potentially already has picked up Mark Hershey, uh, not to our knowledge, of course, just yet, has themselves one of the most talented riders of, of their generation, in my opinion. He looks so good this year, just 22 years old. He, he can win so many races and a variety of different races as well. Uh, yeah, if... Right, let, let's say Mark Hershey gets transferred in the upcoming days. Is it the biggest transfer of the transfer window, despite some moves like uh, mainly the Yates 2 and O's? I think it has to be, which is incredible. I mean, trying to think to the biggest transfers, you'd probably say the Yates guys. I mean, in your side, Froome. the likes of Ports, Froome, yeah, potentially. Um, and perhaps not in terms of pure performance anymore. Um, I'm trying to think of a, a bigger transfer off the top of my head, and I'm I'm really struggling to be honest. Actually, with you. I've I've got a transfer. Michael Matthews did leave Sunweb as well, so they've lost Michael Matthews and Mark Hershey. Yeah, so that's a third big leader to leave Sunweb wow. after De Milan as well. That is that is something. They've lost Kelderman as well. I oh, they've lost a lot this year. It's a shame. I mean, they lost De Milan, and they kind of went into 2020. I feel without a real kind of personality um, mm-hmm. and real direction in the team. Um, but they have a lot of kind of good, talented young riders. We saw Jai Henley at the Giro. Obviously, Hershey, who is now leaving. Uh, Tymon Aronsman had a, had a great season, I feel. Um, they're signing the likes of, of Marco Brenner. Um, he's one of the most talked of Neo pros coming into this season. And they really did find their way last year with Hershey kind of leading that charge. So 
I feel it's a bit of a shame for them, for, for Team DSM, because they have a really exciting team. They still have quite a lot of exciting young riders, but Hershey was definitely kind of the leader um, of those youngsters. Oh yeah, Philly, he was the guy that replaced Dumoulin as the leader and like the rider uh, of DSM. Uh, I mean, we, we'll talk we'll talk about Sunweb and GSM uh, in uh, an upcoming videos in in the coming days in coming weeks. But I mean, it must be. I mean, I don't know what's go what happened um, in the background or what happened between the rider and the team. But for a team to lose Dumoulin, a rider as important and as good as him, to get into 2020 without a real idea of what you're gonna do, to podium a Grand Tour to get stage wins on the Tour de France, to finish in a very decent position of the World Championships, just to redo that again next season because you've lost one of the riders that podiumed the Grand Tour and Marc Uh I, I feel like it's just a constant rebuilding and they're like everything they've done this year has been erased and they're going for a clean state in 2021. It, it's... You, you. I mean, again, I don't know what happened in the background, but you, you got to feel for Sunweb. You have to for sure. I mean, like we say, we don't know the details on this. Uh, kind of which party potentially forced this move. You would assume Hershey potentially, uh, but who knows who was was at fault uh, as such here. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a very different team next year without Hershey. Um, they seem to be very un unstable. They can't keep their riders, like we've mentioned. Uh, but they do bring in Roman Bardet. Uh, whether that had something to do with the departure of Hershey, I'm, I'm unsure at this stage, but uh, certainly opens up a bigger leadership role for Bardet. Same goes for Thies Benut, who didn't have his best season last year, particularly post-lockdown. Uh, post I think he looked good at Paris-Nice beforehand. Um, but those two guys really are going to have to kind of fill the shoes of Hershey. They're similar riders, good, good punchers on hilly terrain. Um, and maybe the same for, for Aronsman as well, Jai Hindi. These guys are going to have to step up um, and be the real leaders of this team. Yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting uh, an interesting season for Sunweb. Um, I mean, they've, they've got a very young lineup. Um, and some riders that will have... The, the good thing for some of these riders is they will have uh, more, more space and there'll be more of a free element to try and show that... Well, to show their qualities. Uh, but now opens the question, if you show your qualities, uh, does that mean Sunweb is going to mess up your contract and then you'll leave out of nowhere? I, I, I don't know. But I, I've, I was looking at the riders they've lost. Every single year, except from like 2018, they lose their main rider. 2015, they lost Kittel. 2016, they lost Degenkorb. 2017, they lost Bargill. 2018, I mean, they lost Tendam, I guess. 2019, Dumoulin and Kemna, who's proven to be a very decent rider mm -hmm. under Bora Hansgrohe. Yeah. And this year... They've lost Michael Matthews, Wilco Kelderman, Mark Hirschi, and Sam Oman. Yeah, they're clearly struggling to re retain their riders, whether that's for purely financial reasons or something else, because they seem to have a good togetherness in the team, at least at the Tour de France for sure, this year, where they were led by Hershey, of course. They seem to be working together well. I know Soren Kranzen also won a stage at the Tour, and they seem to, to look great and be have great chemistry within the team. Um, so really, the only saving grace has been their recruitment and they're signing very, very talented young riders. And looking at their team, I think we can say they they have a good shout of doing that again this year because they've they've signed Andreas Lechnesson from Uno X, who is a very good time trialist for sure. Kevin Vermarker, a good Neo Pro. I've mentioned Marco Brenner, who's only 18, but again, very, very talented riders they are signing um, and other good signings of recent years. Nils Ekhoff currently on the team. Casper uh, Pedersen, Dianese, a good Italian young sprinter. They have plenty of talent in the team, um, but clearly they just cannot retain that talent kind of long term. Yeah. I just, right now I'm just hoping to see some some more more information on, uh, more information, sorry, on, on the agreement and, and what happened. Um, like there, there's some uh, some talks that a team potentially purchased or bought out, uh, bought out the contract that he had, uh, because I'm pretty sure he had a contract until next season. So if a team did that, that's a team with financial power. But that's also, uh, I mean, I don't know what's happening with DSM. Um, as I said, we'll talk about Sunweb more more um, in in details in a, a coming podcast, but. Something is wrong with them, and the fact that they have just lost 
the main leader with well, like technically a, less than a month before the start of the season. Sure, the World Tour starts in a month and a half, but some races will happen, I believe, in January. In the middle of preseason camp, it's not a good sign. Certainly not. It is. It's not a good sign for the team going forwards. I mean, like we said, one of the most talented youngsters. So I think a good way to kind of uh, close out this emergency short emergency pod would be to who one. Let's ask two questions. Who do you think he's going to going to sign for Blackwall, and who would you like to see him sign for? I will believe he will sign for Ineos. We've said it's a team with financial power, so that leaves that being there's two candidates: UAE or Ineos. Uh, there was talks that Ineos was interested in Hershey. I haven't heard much about UAE and, and Mark Hershey. So, yeah, I, I think that that's a shout. Uh, and the teams I would love... I mean, I would love to see him at FDG. I, I would love that. Uh, actually, I would love him to be in any team that isn't a top, top challenger or a team where he'll have competition. Because if you have him... I mean... I like the Konank, don't get me wrong. But if there's a team that has Alaphilippe and Mark Hershey... Uh, well, the classics are going to be a bit boring. If you have him at Bora alongside Schachmann, it's going to be a bit boring. Astana alongside Fulsang, a bit boring. Have him in a team that isn't potentially the strongest. I was going to say Sunweb, but he just left Sunweb. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm going to guess he's going to go to Ineos, but I would like to see him going in a French team. Yeah, it's funny because I, you say who we'd, we'd like to see him ride for. Sunweb or DSM seemed to be the perfect fit for him. It really did in pure cycling terms. A young rider up and coming, the clear leader in the in the punchy hilly classics and uh, to win stages at Grand Tours like the Tour de France already. It did seem like the perfect environment for him. So it's very interesting that this has happened. Um, like you, I'm going to agree. I think we'll see him sign for the Ineos Grenadiers in the next kind of one to two days. Maybe even by the time this podcast is released, he'll be signed for a team. But I think... Uh, the Ineos Grenadiers are definitely the front runners to sign. Um, of course, Mark Hershey. I think Group Armour FDG would be a nice fit. Same for AG2R, one of those French teams. They don't have a clear leader, perhaps in the Hilly Classics, you could say Godou and Cosnafra, but I think it'd suit one of those two teams for sure. Um, although I can't see anyone wanting to sign for AG2R after uh, they released that jersey. So um, <laughs> can't see that one happening. But but yeah, it's crazy because Sunweb and DSM did seem like a great environment for Hershey. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see who he signs for in the coming days, I am sure. I think just to come back on the uh, AG2R, La Citroën Mondiale, um, the, the one thing uh, that, in my opinion, goes against the signing of Mark Hershey uh, is that their main focus is to get Philippe next season. Mm-hmm. They want to have Alaphilippe. They've said it, uh, and they they have the financial backing to get Alaphilippe, and that's also one of the reasons as to why they got Bobby Jungles because we, he's like one of the best friends of Alaphilippe. Yeah, for sure. If if they get Mark Hirschi, I think it puts a big dent in the the plan to get Alaphilippe. Yeah. Uh, but you never know. You could have Hirschi for one year, and then next season swap Alaphilippe and Hirschi. Hirschi would end up at the Konank. I don't know. It's gonna. It's it's. There's a lot of uh, a lot of um, of information right now. There's a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of details. And I think it's going to be clearing out in the upcoming days and weeks. I think Mark Hirschi knows what he's doing. Um, so yeah, we can just wait. But as Joe said, uh, let us know who you think um, Mark Hirschi will join and who you would like to see him join uh, as well. Uh, the only answer I will not accept is the DT Sunweb because that's continental that's development and that is incorrect it certainly is it certainly is i think uh, i can't see him signing for anyone other than ineos uae maybe trek sega fredo with that with the big money because um even israel maybe I, I if they have a if uh have a spot open on their team but i can't see him leaving dsm for anyone else other than a big contract at ineos or or maybe uae so yeah we'll see like blackwell says let us know who you think he will be signing for down below in the comments i hope you enjoyed this kind of short emergency podcast it's our first actually kind of emergency podcast i think really it's the first moment in the cycling off season we felt the need and the urge to want to record an emergency podcast with this massive news that mark hershey is leaving team dsm going into 2021 I mean, you've said it all. You've said it all. It was an emergency podcast. We didn't plan on doing that at all. Uh, but we hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we hope you got some information. 
And uh, as we said, let us know in the comments what you think of, uh, of this first big shock of the offseason. And we will see you very soon for another podcast here on the Ascent Cycling Channel. Joe, final word? Hershey's Enios is happening. See ya.